Are you good in bed? Well, according to a new study, you probably play a lot of Xbox. You know what's fun? Video games! You know what's even more fun? Having sex. But unlike the pairing of chocolate and peanut butter, rarely, if ever, do the two great tastes of video games and sex taste great together. But that didn't stop a new study from finding out what none of us have ever wondered before, which gamers are the best in bed. And the results are sure to set the comment field on fire, if not the bed sheets. Wink! Yeah, that would have been way more sexy if I didn't have this head cold. Also, if I was a woman. Anyway, the study sponsored by UK site Voucher Codes Pro asked over 1,700 participants to rank the sexual performance of their gaming partner on a scale ranging from excellent to below average. Of the respondents, only 11% said excellent, while 27% replied good, and 26% said average. Meanwhile, 20% ranked their gaming partner's bedroom skills as below average. But how did the results break down per console? Surely, with all the waggling of the phallic controllers or the proximity proximity to internet porn, we and PC users had to have come out on top, right? Wrong. In fact, Xbox users were the best between the sheets, with 22% ranking as excellent and 54% being described as good or above average. Wii users also surprisingly fared well given the skewed demographics of its core audience, because they're old and mostly children, with 47% being called good or above average in bed. But PC users, whoo, you guys gotta step up your game. Only 3% were called excellent in bed, while only 8% were very good. Maybe you guys should listen to the 21% of respondents who want more sex and less gaming in their lives. And while we're on the subject of things like Xbox, did you guys hear about the Microsoft exec who told users on Twitter last night to deal with it when it comes to rumored always online feature for the next Xbox? Yeah. He did that. So apparently, last night, Adam Orth, Microsoft Studios creative director, took to Twitter to address the persistent rumor saying, those people should definitely get with the times and get the internet. It's awesome. He then fanned the flames by saying, I want every device to be always on, capping his tirade of tweets with a picture of Obama, giving a shoulder shrug, saying, deal with it. Users then began assaulting him with hypotheticals and real life issues, like reminding him of the Diablo 3 and SimCity launch problems, to which Orth replied with a simple, electricity goes out too, tweet. Or when someone asked him about living in places with spotty internet connectivity, like Janesville, Wisconsin, or Blacksburg, Virginia, Orth snarkily replied, why on earth would I live there? Oh, I don't know, Orth, because people do. Thousands of people, in fact. And I would bet that more than a couple of them have a 360 or two in their house. But what this really does is fan the flames that the next Xbox will, in fact, require an always online connection to work. How are you guys feeling about this whole always online thing? Or are you feeling misrepresented by the gamer sex study? Let me know down below. And hey, because it's Friday, why don't you go give that subscribe button a little tickle. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying I still play with my Dreamcast. Dreamcast is what I call my girlfriend. If I had one or Dreamcast. Yeah, I don't have a lot of sex. Oh Someone's got a booty call, booty call, booty call. Shake it, shake it, make it clap. All right, you ready? <laughs>